Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Optimize your trading strategies by synchronizing your FPS account with TradingView in 2023. This tutorial provides a step-by-step -step guide enabling you to utilize TradingView's analytical tools in conjunction with your FPS account seamlessly. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So. The first thing guys to do is to simply head up to the tradingview.com so all you need to do is to head up to this website as you can see right in front of us tradingview.com and then you need to create an account or sign into your existing account then to add any app or platform to your account you need to add it as a broker so you need to add go to go to the menu you will find products community market news brokers and more so go to brokers and open it here you'll find if it's some kind of like uh, applications that can be added to uh, like as brokers to your trading view account and here there will be only like the best top six or top seven apps in case you didn't find the desired app all you need to do is to go back to the home page go to the market summary as you can see and choose whatever kind of stock you want so Let's go for example for Amazon. It's it's totally random. You, you don't know. You don't have to go for your desired one. It is just for the sake of finding a specific option. So click on the full screen button, which is right over here. I didn't show you guys. Here it is. So it is basically the full chart view that will give us more details about the chart. There we go. And here, guys, as you can see, you will be finding in here. Let me just disconnect. Here we go. So here you will find the chart. And in the bottom here, as you can see, there is this widget which says which has four different categories. So it has the stock or the open screener. Here there is the pile editor, the strategy tester, and here normally it will be the panel. Uh, it, like here, which will be like the trading panel. So normally here I will just log out of my account in Binance, see all brokers. And I should be looking for my desired app. So you could you could search for any app in here. Uh, well, this is, this is not that much of apps, so you should be able to find your desired apps. But in case you couldn't find it, just click on your keyboard or Control F, and then you could search for any kind of application. So just type FPS, and you might be able to find it. So as you can see, guys, I couldn't really find it. So what does it mean? Well, it is means that one thing that it doesn't exist on trading view brokers so what's next is to search for fbs trading view as you can see and just open it and the only things that you can get is some ideas about it so there is nothing that's actually uh, like available thing that can allow you to add fbs to your uh, trading view uh, like uh, application or account so what you could do in that case is basically there is no kind of integration between fbs and trading view but there is kind of like utilizing the trading view features for the sake of fbs so how can we do that exactly well let's go here and search for fbs charts and let's see the difference between the shot that you might find in FBS and the shot that you will find in normally um, like trading view. So this is how the shot will look like in your FBS account application. So basically it's going to be like candles, normal and stuff like that. So you will be able to see the graph. Basically that's good. But nothing else than that. It's like going to Binance and finding like BTC, SDT. And you will find something like that. Well, basically, this is it. You will not have anything more than these little uh, details. Like here, there is nothing more than that. You will ca you'll be able to see the volume of people that are selling, the buying. And basically, this is probably it. The volume, the low, high, strange, etc. Other than these informations, you will not be able to find it in FPS. So, how can we get to use Trendy View for our sake of our our video so basically here fbs can help you to invest in the forex so basically all you need to do is to decide which kind of uh, token in the forex you want to uh, like to invest in there is uh, the euro to usd there is usd to japan yen there is the pound into usd there is the australian dollar into us dollar so there is a bunch of options let's go for example to europe into usd 
So the same thing, you have to go to here, FBS, Euro to USD. Now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to analyze the Euro to USD in trading view and a point of this analysis that I'm going to do, I'm going to invest in this account on FPS depending on this analysis that I'm going to do. So basically, change of view is going to help me to make a decision about my investment. But FPS is where I am going to make my investment. If that sounds some like, if that makes sense for you guys. So basically, here it is the graph. And we will tell me like, okay, there's the same graph in uh, here, the same candles. Well, no, this is not all. Look what you could do. There is literally tools that can help you improve your uh, analyzing skills. So let's start with the simplest thing. A simple line like this. Do you know what this line can do? Basically with this line, you could do a lot. Let me just change the color. Here it is. Or we can make it go red. Right, so we can um, let's so it can be clear. We can turn it back to orange. All right, so we can use this as a support. What is a support in crypto? Basically, it is kind of like a virtual line that when the candles hit it, uh, they just go up. So like it's bound, they bounce up upon it. So let's try to find like kind of a good example. Well, this is a good example of. Uh, support so basically these candles are actually going all the way down look it hits down it went up then it went down it hit the, the, the support it went up and then it went all the way down here as you can see here and it went up so this support is actually not letting this uh, token go the all the way down it's helping it to be all the way here but at the same time if the candle passed this part so let's say for example the there is a support here and as you can see this red candle has passed it well that doesn't mean that the price of the uh, amount of the token is going to drop a lot unless we get a confirmation the confirmation are those is the next candle if the next candle is red that means that the next three candles are probably going to be red and the price will be all the way down here but if it's bounced up or the next candle was green that means that the, st the support is still handling the job and he's still doing a good job so this is how supports can help you and this is like just a small line how it can affect your decisions in trading and investment in general and yeah, so this is basically how you could get use of the trading view for the sake of your FPS account. So that was it for today's video, guys. I hope you learned something from us. If you learned, make sure to leave a like and a comment. Thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial.